I'll show you how to install the Auto Photoshop plugin so you could use Table Diffusion from within Photoshop. First, you'll need to install GitHub Desktop. Navigate to where you have installed the app and run it. Create a new folder for the plugin. The name is not important, so you could call it whatever you want. Next, go to the plugin's GitHub page. There is a lot of useful information here, so make sure you bookmark it. Click on the green button and copy the URL. Switch back to the GitHub desktop app from the menu, select file and then click on clone repository. Select the URL tab and in the first field, paste the plugin's URL you've just copied. For the local path, copy base where you want the plugin to be located at and click clone. Go to the plugin folder and click on star server that path to start the proxy server and leave it running in the background. Open Creative Cloud and search for UXP. You don't need a subscription to download UXP, you only need to sign up with an email. Wait for the installation to complete and then open it. I already have the plugin added, so I'm going to remove it and show you how to add it from the beginning. Click on the Add Plugin button and navigate to the plugin folder. Then find the manifest.json file, select it and click Open. Open Photoshop. Navigate to edit, then preferences and click on plugins. Make sure you check enable developer mode. Then you will have to restart Photoshop for it to take effect. Make sure you have Photoshop running in the background then switch back to UXP. Make sure you have Photoshop version 24 or higher. Click on the three dots and then load the plugin. Switch back to Photoshop and create a new dock. Select the background color, any color will do except transparent. See the plugin displaying two letters A and B. A refers to automatic 11.11 and B refers to the proxy server. You could have a recursor over the UI to display useful information. Both automatic 11.11 and the proxy server will turn green when they're running and red when they're not. You can test if the plugin is working by using the search feature. But you will not be able to use any stable diffusion feature since you haven't installed automatic 11.11 yet. We'll do that in a moment. Click on any thumbnail you want to load the reference image inside Photoshop. You 
generate images, we first need to install automatic 11.11 web UI. The easiest way to do that is to use a 11.11 web UI installer. Please support this awesome project and then navigate to release it. And download the .exe file. Run it when it's done. It's important to remember the installation path. So I'll select the tutorial folder to keep everything in the same location. Go to the tutorial folder and run the new pin to taskbar file. Click yes to download the stable diffusion model. When it's done, add dash dash ABI, make sure to save then click launch. When the process is finished, it will launch the web UI web page. Switch back to Photoshop and hit the refresh button to connect to automatic 1111. The letter A will turn green when it connects. To generate an image from text, first you make a selection and then click generate. Let's try the image to image mode next. Select the Mona Lisa painting by control clicking the thumbnail. It will only select the Mona Lisa painting without selecting the white background. Click generate. Next, we will try to embed. Select the embed mode, this will create a new mask layer for you to paint white on. Make sure you are on the mask layer before you hit generate. Lastly, we could fill any missing areas using the auto paint mode, make a selection and press generate. Generate again if you want more results. Now, I'll show you how to run everything, the whole setup in around 30 seconds. Make sure you close everything. You can do it in any order you want, but we'll do it this way. Click the pin to taskbar file to run automatic 1111 and click launch web UI.
now go to the plugin folder and click on start server that path. Open Photoshop and then open UXP and load the plugin. That's it.